in Nandi TV has accessed CCTV footage of minors throwing grenades on a police post at Sopor in Jammu and Kashmir last week. The boys aged 12 and 13 were picked up by the police after the footage captured their grenade throwing act. Three people were injured in this blast. The footage shows two boys pushing a handcart and later taking cover while throwing a grenade at a police post and then escaping into a narrow lane. According to the source of the Lashkar -e Toiba is banking upon children now to carry out attacks on security forces. The children they think are above suspicion and cannot be arrested since they are juveniles. They are being paid money to carry out such attacks. Well, earlier my colleague uh, Zakrik Bal spoke the IG here to get more details on this tactic that has of course been employed in the past too by the Lashkar who often pays children to carry out such acts. I'm joined by IG Kashmir SM Sahai. Uh, let's talk to him. Uh, sir, uh, what more can you share with us about this uh, particular incident? Uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, boys who were involved in this episode were uh, of very young age and uh, belonging to an extremely poor family. They were, in, in fact, uh, basically rag pickers. <clears throat> and the Lashkar commander in, uh, in uh, Sopor area, by the way, Fadullah, who is a Pakistani, basically, um, he uh, motivated them to do it for, the, for a sum of 1,000 rupees. Now, our biggest concern is that uh, such elements are difficult to identify. And secondly is that um, should anything have happened by way of retaliatory action and these boys could have got injured or <coughs> killed in the process, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then it would become very difficult for us to explain and uh, we would have been badgered on the on count of uh, human rights violations. Uh, we've seen this happening earlier also in the in, uh, street violence of uh, 2010, 8, and 9. We found that a very young uh, age group of people were coming to throw stones at uh, at us as well as on the civilian population. So this is a, a, a age group of people, the early teens, whom <clears throat> they've begun to exploit. Uh, we have uh, tried to involve the parents. Uh, these boys have been let off. We tried to counsel the parents that they should not get involved again. And uh, we'll have to seriously look at uh, the options before us. If this, uh, we continue to believe that these things are going to happen, then uh, we'll have to, to activate the juvenile home and uh, take legal action accordingly. But more so, I think uh, there is a requirement for there to be much greater awareness on this count. Mm. And um, I think uh, the, the media, the civil society needs to be more sensitive to what is beginning to happen now. So we can we cannot afford to have. Uh, You're children. planning to put uh, certain measures in place to see to it that such things don't happen in the future. Obviously, it's a difficult situation. It's not uh, difficult in the sense because it's not a very alarming number that it's uh, that's got involved. But uh, now uh, I'm glad that it's uh, we've been able to re detect it at its early stages. But if I go back to what happened in 2010, when we again had got uh, the parents involved, the way we all got the schools and all opened up and the parents responded, I am very hopeful that in this case also, once the parents and the civil society is aware of what is happening, they will respond and I am sure we will be able to overcome this problem. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NETV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku, NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.